Hello and good morning. Uh, I got up this morning and went online and noticed that Vice 3.6 released. And actually, I knew about this for quite a while. It released on December 24th, 2021. But it's actually only now that I'm actually getting around to making a video about it because I was busy with Christmas stuff and then I just forgot about it. Just now I remembered to uh, check it out. And uh, I thought I'd make a little video about it, talking about some of the uh, new features. So, uh, let's get going. It's been nearly exactly a year since there's been a new version of Vice, so this is pretty exciting for... Or at least for me, anyway. So what's a better way to compare and show what's in new in the new versions than to do a side-by-side -side comparison? So uh, on the left here, I have Vice version 3.5, this was last year's version, and here's the new version on the right. As you can see right off the bat, if we put them side by side here, the bar at the bottom is a bit different, same uh, information, but the one in 3.6, the new version, is a bit taller, a bit bigger. Everything is shifted over to the left. And the warp and pause buttons now exist. So we can pause the emulation. We can turn on warp mode, which basically speeds it up. So you can see it's 300% of a normal CPU and a normal 64. I like this change a lot. On previous versions, you would have to go over to here in the bottom corner and then click enable warp CPU or something like that. So that's good that this is just now here easily accessible. As well as the uh, frame rate, it displays like 59.8, whereas there it's like 59.831, it constantly jumps around, and it's distracting, so yeah, I really like this new status bar. The next thing you'll notice up here is that on Vice 3.5, there's a settings thing, and there's no, s and now it's been changed to preferences on 3.6 and you can actually easily access a lot of things like full screen and whatnot warp mode pause emulation swap joysticks a lot of stuff and you can still access settings here but now it's just preferences and there's a few things that are easily accessible over here so that's nice one thing you'll also notice is that vice 3.6 has way better crt emulation it's hard to show when you have the two windowed like this, so let's zoom in a bit. So here's Vice 3.5. Here's Vice 3.6. You can still see the CRT scan lines. It still is sort of trying to emulate a CRT, but it's a lot sharper and a lot... It's a much more accurate emulation of a decent CRT. If we go into Preferences, Settings here, then we go Display, Host Display, so here's the host display preferences for both uh, versions of Vice. As you can see, the 3.6 only has nearest neighbor, which looks like that, and bilinear. Whereas 3.6 here has nearest neighbor, bilinear, and bicubic, which is the new default. And bicubic looks a lot better than bilinear. So yeah, much, much better, much much better for people to record and whatnot, so it just looks a lot better. So here's bilinear. Here's bicubic. It's just a little bit sharper. As you can see in bilinear, we get these little weird liney things, and it's not nearly as sharp, whereas here it has just much better scan lines, which is quite nice. I like it. So there's one final thing I want to talk about here. This is a bug that's been fixed, and it's a really big one. It's existed in the pet emulator for a long time. That is that the sound just doesn't sound right. This has been in the unstable builds for quite a while, but now it's finally made it into a stable build. So yeah, 
the pet sound now works properly. So the pet was never designed to have sound. There's just like hacks with the user port. But now it works properly in Vice when playing music. So that's really good. Glad they finally fixed that. So something else I noticed, I'm not sure if this is a bug or not, but I'm in the pet emulator here. And if I full screen it, it's, you can see it doesn't go true full screen. You can still see my taskbar down here. I don't know if this has to do with something that I'm running recording software or uh, just a bug or if it's something I've configured, but I thought I'd point that out. So anyway, thank you so much for watching today's random little video. Just a little update I thought I would do. I just throw it together before school in the morning. And anyway, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.